Hello again everybody, this is Zero Sauce, and I'm playing Scribble Knots Unlimited today. Um, I actually already recorded this episode, this will be the first episode of Scribble Knots, but my video didn't come through. So you have a nice white screen with no video, only audio. It's quite wonderful to watch. Hopefully this time, when I'm playing through, we won't have that problem. However, you lose the spontaneity of me not knowing what's going on and trying to figure out what's happening in the game. I'll still do that on the later levels, but for this first level I kind of already know what's going on. <clears throat> Let's delete all my data here so we can start again from the beginning. From the beginning. And we're going to watch the cutscene again. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. Graham, Graham. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would Indiana beg Jones. to differ. She was also an adventurer. Pink hair. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. <laughs> they yeah, competed like this on adventure after adventure. Do you just grab a bubble? On one adventure. Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost well, that's pyramid. Kind of unfair. She has a rocket car. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. Oh. The two of them semi retired to start a family. And they continued starting that, that family Femi? until they had forty two oh, children. Oh, that's not me. I'm the red redhead guy. I mean the red One day, whatever Mom guy. Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. Anywhere? The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it. And poof, like the poop. word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. We're worried you're going to be spoiled. Get the hell out. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. You as he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. She got new shoes. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. He was just being nice and trying to give you shoes. To do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin. I, I don't know, giving stars. someone a rotten apple versus turning stars into stone is a bit hard. Magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find Man. Starite. What was in that bird seed? That bird's a little too happy. If Maxwell used the notebook's power for good. He could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, That's it! I'm gonna That's go it. out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. That's it? Grab his notebook and head for the door. That's a pretty interesting ending there of the cutscene. Alright, so I've done all this kind of before, uh, but I'll try to still be entertaining about it here. <laughs> I think, I still think I walk hilariously. <laughs> Click Edwin. Earn a star right by helping Edwin with his award-winning pig. The basics. Yeah. Pig teleports here magically. Just he did that last time too. Turn the run to the litter and award-winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub pig. Uh, see, I already know what I could use. It's not funny anymore. I tried to use fire, but they don't like that. And then I tried to use watermelon. 
but they don't like that either. <laughs> They're not very fond of me making things that aren't supposed to be used to clean a pig. They didn't mind this though. Yeah, toothbrush. I can clean a pig with a toothbrush. Oh wait, it goes to him. And then I clean the pig. Clean the pig with a toothbrush. That was fast. Click progress bar for current hit. Progress bar is, I already forgot, is this? Turn the, oh, I guess that is progress bar. Click max only and remove this object. Remove! Well, that wasn't very nice. You just threw it on this dude's farm. You're a jerk. Pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase its pig, what? Increase the pig's size with an adjective. It's not the way the world works. Gotta give him steroids and more pig. Feed him pig. He'll get big. Ha, that rhymes. Type an adjective to increase pig size. Well, last time I went with mammoth. No, that's not how you spell it. Mammoth. Mammoth. Oh. That's a pretty big pig. I think he'll win. Help pig win talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Hints are unlocked over time. Click on the associated object to view its hint. Click on the pig to view the new hint. He wins large enough to help me fly. Very well. Uh, let me guess. He needs large wings. Maybe I should try large swings. No, oh, that that didn't work. A swing would work. He would just he wouldn't fly very far, or permanently. Uh, giant wing. The magic backpack store is always for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. This is just one though. How is he gonna fly with just one wing? <laughs> well, that was an interesting. I commented on this last time. This backpack looks an awful lot like Hitler, which I don't know. That, that's probably kind of, I'm sure it's coincidental, but look, he's got the little mustache. He got the hair on the side. I, I know it's supposed to be a book bag and not a person, but come on. They're, they're, that's not nice, guys. Put that, make that look different. The hippies are coming again. Hippies and cowboys and girls. You should bring that shirt down a little. Put these in there to immediately take them out. There you go. <laughs> just fly with one wing blah, 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 on one blah, blah, side of your body. It works just yeah. fine. Mm. I suppose none of this makes sense, so I can't really say much about the wing. The wing looks like it's backwards, too. It should be flipped around. <laughs> There's no way that pig's going to beat me. Yeah, of course I win. Good thing I can fly, because if I stood on that pedestal, I'd probably break it. I mean, not me. I mean my pig. Yeah, I got a star. Yeah. I've completed the basics. And I've got star bright. One star bright. Rainbow bright. Whatever. Earn shards by helping people. Ten shards will form star bright. No, rainbow bright. Use rainbow bright vision to find shards. Like golden objects for hints. Hmm, like I couldn't figure that out. Okay. So I need to make this plant grow. How about I give it some... some... what? Some... Rogaine. Aww. Rogaine's not a thing. Miracle grow. Wait, miracle grow is a noun. Can't use nouns in this game. Proper nouns, I mean. I know it really wants rain. Put the rain cloud right there. See, I don't understand this. Every time I've made this plant grow, it turns into an evil death plant and it kills everybody. It doesn't seem to matter because if you do this, you just start the level over and reset everything and keep all your shards. It seems like a very strange way to go about things, but whatever. Press escape to enter the menu. Reset. Yes. So keep all your shards, but just start it from scratch like nothing happened. Like no one got killed by a man-eating plant. What's that movie? With the plant that eats people? Little Shop of Horrors? Yeah. That happened, but don't worry about it. 
Oh, what's wrong? My kitty is stuck on top of the tree. Get her for me. She don't even ask. Just get me my cat. You do as I say. Very well. Let's use a... Uh, I used this last time, and it works kind of interesting. What? I can't talk and type at the same time. It worked kind of interestingly. He's just like, I'll get the cat down. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I'm sure the farmer didn't want that tree. Learning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop to begin your journey in Capital City. You can now play as Maxwell's brother, Edwin. No, I don't want to do the tutorial again. So what they want me to do is go on the bus stop and go to the capital city, but I did this last time. Didn't obviously keep any of the settings because I restarted from a new game. Um, type a word and touch the blue button to see some objects. No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to change my character, make him look a little different. No, what am I doing? Why am I so lost? All oh, right, I click my face. That's what I do. Pick, pick avatar. There we go. Change your current avatar here. So I could be Billy Bob Thornton right here. No, I guess it doesn't look like him, but whatever. Uh, I want to make a new avatar. I was having fun with this last time. What I did last time was... My head's a little bit too high up. Let's bring it there. And, uh, I had an interesting arm. I, what is this? Oh, that just shows me all the, man, these controls are so non-intuitive that I still don't know what I'm doing even after I've done this already twice. I want an item. Aha, I want a taco. And I want this as my, wait, turn the, turn, turn to, no, 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 no. How do I, what's this? Elephant nose. Oh, I'll pass in the elephant nose. I don't want an elephant nose. I do want this mustache, though. Okay. This is what I had last time. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn the pieces. So I take this piece, and I want to rotate it. There we go. And then put it right there. And make it a little bit smaller, which is this right here. There we go. Got my taco arm. Can't play a game very well without a taco arm, duh. Make this a little smaller so it looks good on my face. Got a mustache. And change my colors. Gonna paint my head. Nice little purple color. Uh, I wanna be gray. Yeah. No, wait, I'm sick. I got, I got, no, that's, that's gross. No, no, no. I didn't realize all these were here last time. I could be made out of wood. That's not a very good color. <clears throat> that's that's kind of scary, actually. I think we'll go with some normal, non-insane color. Oh no, how do I get rid of this? Uh oh. How do I remove? No, what do I do? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to solve this. Can I just. Erase? Ah, there we go. There we go. That looks more like a finger with nail. Anyway. No, 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 no. This UI is just outstandingly not good. I want to color my mustache to be Nice deep brown color. Yeah, manly mustache. There we go. I still want to come face. But I don't know what color to make my face. 
had nice colors last time and I ruined it because, well, I didn't ruin it. The recording software ruined it. Too green. Much too green. There, that'll be your color. I don't like it, but that's going to be your color anyway. And we need to change your clothing colors to like a nice little blue. Perfect. How about your arm? I can't see your arm from here. Hmm. How can I do this without ruining everything? We shall... Click... Eh. I don't know. This. And then click your head and move it. And then go back to colors and do this and do this and this and that. There you go. That arm we probably won't be able to see so we'll just pretend like that's not there. Red socks are fine. How about black shoes? I like black shoes. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> I don't think we're going to keep your head floating. That's, that's a little too creepy. For your head to be attached, your arms to be attached to your head, that's a little less creepy to me. Go back. Perfect. Wonderful. Although, I'm going to change one more thing. Oh, did I just accidentally paint his face a different color? I did, didn't I? I don't know how to undo that either. Well, oh, oh no, I was, okay, I was clicked on it, I understand. I understand. This should be a... Perfect. Very manly. Couldn't be more manly if I tried. I mean, does your arm have a taco on it? I don't think so. Done. Zero sauce. Yeah. Done. Save. Yes. Wonderful. This is me. Oh yeah. There we go. I could just, anytime I'm hungry, I just nom, 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 nom. I eat my arm. Here, you want some taco? Nom, 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 nom. Have some taco. Nom, nom. <sighs> this is probably not how you're supposed to enjoy the game, but it's pretty fun. Uh, what do I do now? I gotta go to the capital city and meet this guy. I guess. Let's take a bus. Are they, tor uh, are they touring the top of the roof? I don't under I don't understand. What's what do you touch the Maxwell? Oh, right, right, right. I know. Touch this and it takes me back to me. But what are you people doing up there? I don't think that's where you're supposed to be. Oh, they're sad. They're like, how did we get on the building? We don't know how to get down. Oh. No, that's not even... They just can't see. They don't care. This this guy's is drunk. He's going to fall, dude. Wow, you you guys are just living on the edge, aren't you? I don't, I don't understand this city. Why is there a monkey here? Let's help this guy. Let's help the only sane person. Well... He is walking in the middle of the street, but I can't really say much, so am I. I want someone to entertain me. Well, I'm not entertaining enough. I have a taco for an arm. How is it not entertaining? Okay, I guess I'll give you something else. How about... No, 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 no. Not what I wanted to do. I want to add an object. How about a... How about a fluffy bunny? Who doesn't like those, right? There you go. What? I did... Stop. Um... Okay, well, first of all, that fluffy bunny looks like a diseased dead bunny. Second of all, how did a parade just appear out of his butt? I don't... I'm not really sure what happened there. He's happy, but I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I could steal his bunny? What happens if I steal it? Will he get mad? <laughs> My bunny. My taco slash bunny. Alright, you can have it back. He's still happy. <laughs> He's having a great time. Even though I stole his bunny, he doesn't seem to care. Alright, bunny's mine now. Since he doesn't mind. Oh, I can go in here. What's, what's this? Saint Asterisk. Looks like a Castle Crashers guy. Welcome to Saint Asterisk. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game, it seems. 
Alright, I think I'm going to stop here. I'm not exactly sure how long I've been recording. Uh, if this was fun to watch, please let me know uh, in the form of comments or likes or all that good stuff. Um, if you don't like it, tell me why. Uh, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.